Okay, here we're doing a test. We're trying to see what capacity we actually get out of this um, 60 litre buffer tank when linked to a variable speed, speed drive pump, which we can actually adjust the pressure on. Got a tank, got the variable speed drive pump feeding from it. At the moment, we've got it set to um, 3.5 bar and at the default um, threshold that allows it to drop to 70% of the pressure before it turns on again. Let's just demonstrate that. So if we open this hose pipe a bit, the tank is dropping slowly where we are at 3.3 bar, 3.2 bar, 3 bar pressure. We'd expect it to turn on at about 2.6. There we're at about 2.8. A little under halfway of the bottle. Then there we go. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got a little bit under half a bottle. We want to test and see what we're actually getting in the, in the tank initially. So we just wait for the pump to get everything back filled up and back up to three and a half bar. What we're going to do is we're going to switch off the pump and just to actually measure what the total volume is that, that we've got inside of the tank. Now we've set the tank to the manufacturer spec, which is two bar pressure inside. And that's typically the one thing we can play around with to see if we can get more capacity is to adjust the pressure in the tank to the ideal situation. So now we're just gonna see how much water we get just straight out of the the tank until it's completely empty. There we're back down to about the 2.6 bar where the pump switched on last time and we're at a similar level of water as compared to what we had in the other bottle. But if we allow it to drop further we do get more water. Now we're very close to the 2 bar pressure and the tank um, should be when it reaches 2 bar pressure should be empty as that's the air pressure in the bladder and there the water flow has stopped. So we, this is an 18.9 litre bottle, so we probably got about 16 litres or so out of that, where conventional wisdom would say we should be getting a lot more than that out of a 60 litre buffer tank. So now let's start experimenting and see what we can get. Okay, after quite a bit of testing and playing around with things, uh, something we realised is we, we kept getting a lot more water out um, with the pump off than with the pump on. So then what we tried to do is match the tank's pressure to the pressure point at which the pump switches on. And so far the sweet spot which we found seems to be about, um, about 0.2 bar higher than what the pump's tr trigger is as there's a bit of a pressure loss in the system while there's flow. So what we've got done now is we've actually up the pressure from the 0.8 bar we've been running up until now up to um, 1.4 bar because what we found with the specific intelligent controller is the lowest pressure we could set it to was 25% of the, the rated pressure and currently we have it set at 4.5 bar so then we set the, um, the turn on pressure basically at about 1.2 so with the tank at 1.4 bar uh, we are actually getting quite good results here. So if we just demonstrate this, let's fill our containers again. Just out of interest, you can measure your water pressure on any of these pressurized buffer tanks by just connecting an air pressure gauge to the air side of the, the buffer, uh, buffer tank. So basically what we found out with all these tests is it it is a bit finicky to set the, the tank to really get the maximum out of it. But so far it seems like what we found is aim for to set your pressure of the tank about 0.2 bar higher than the point at which the pump turns on. And then try to set your, your pump to have the biggest possible um, range of pressure that it allows to drop at. Because like for example, as I said, uh, in my house we just did a sanity check and actually found out if I have two showers running my pressure drops to, to 0.8 bar anyway so anything above that is still okay for having having a decent shower in that um, will vary a bit a bit from time to time where are we there 
about 400 liters an hour, I think. Just for perspective, remember to the beginning of the video, this is what we got before we started playing around with the settings. It was switching on probably about eight liters or so. I think there we're getting close to the switch on point. There we go. Okay. So that actually looks quite decent. That um, we found if we run it completely empty, we get the bottle up to about this level. So we're not quite getting all, all of the capacity out of the tank, but we are at least, I think, actually getting more than half of the tank as usable capacity, which is what we hope to see in the beginning of the video. So things to take away from this, make sure when setting up a system like this that you match your pump and pressure tank pressure settings to get the maximum usage out of the tank. And also um, you'll get the most benefit out of something like this with a pump with a controller where you can actually set the on and off points because then you, you tend to have more leeway um, to set where it actually turns on and off but um, we'll definitely test it with a, a normal dump pump controller as well, just out of interest to see what we actually get. Um, yeah, I'm quite satisfied with that result. We basically got over three times, about three and a half times the capacity that we had at the start of the video. So I think that's a, that's a good result.